I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt. If I know one thing, it's what looks good on you. That's right. I'm an expert on what looks good on you. In fact, I might be the world's foremost authority on what looks good on you. It's hard to say what looks good on you, but I'll tell you. You know what looks good on me? Just about anything. Now, I will tell you, some things are more flattering than others. Right now, I'm wearing an awesome hat. A really, look at that, a really cool shirt. St. Thomas. With a skull. Crossbones. Just check that out one more time. St. Thomas V.I. V.I. means Virgin Islands. Okay, so yes, I do have a cool shirt that I did modify by cutting out the neck so it's nice and loose and chilling. But then I've got these insane, crazy looking glasses on. <laughs> Am I a librarian? Maybe. Some consider me to be an expert on being a librarian. Others consider me to be the world's foremost authority on being an, a, a librarian. <laughs> okay. I am not a librarian. <laughs> I'm not going to even say that. I might be a librarian. But I will tell you this. I am the world's foremost authority on what looks good on you. And you know why I know that? Because I know what looks good on me. And these crazy, slightly green tinted glasses that look like some readers, they're not exactly flattering. Not exactly. But you know, when I don't have the glasses on my eyes, do this. So, I'd say that, you know what does look very flattering? these. You know why? Because I've got a potato head and these glasses match my potato head. That's right. They really complement my potato head and the tint matches my mm, rosy potato tint. So I will say that, look at this, the hat the glasses now it's working the shirt never works but it's comfy so i'm wearing it anyway <laughs> but what looks good on you now you know what looks good on me these not so much these oh yeah and when it comes to fashion you make choices and what looks good on you should reflect your personality. So, what are you all about? And if you're all about, I don't know, moving and grooving, maybe you put some sparkles on. If you're all about sports, maybe you put some really protective goggles on because you don't want to injure your eyes playing those sports depends what you're all about so everybody's got a different style and what looks good I mean honestly these are close to my style but they ain't my style sure I love reading but I'm not officially a librarian. Although I may be the world's foremost librarian, technically, I'm not a librarian yet. <laughs> so, what's with the round glasses? Am I in the Beatles? Am I Harry Potter? What's with the glasses at all? Well, for me... 
we're in this weird era where all of our eyes aren't working as they should, you know? And I could have them surgi surgically corrected, but if I did that, well, then there'd be no need for these, and I would just look like this all the time. Then this would happen. Oh, my. Whoa. <laughs> but... While this is still not only fashion, not only fashionable, but also functional, well, I'm going to embrace that. And I'm going to say, hey, let me be a man of my time. I don't need to be embracing every single technological advancement right when it comes out. So these are timeless. Round lenses. Hmm. Reminds me of back when they first made lenses that had a drop of water. It reminds me of Benjamin Franklin. It reminds me of a lot of the great minds of the past. So, therefore, I wear round glasses. <laughs> Consider me one of the great minds who, who was bold enough to wear round glasses. Additionally, a lot of people think people with glasses are smart. Well, <laughs> I hate to prove you wrong. <laughs> Seriously, though. If you want to think I'm smart just because I did this, boop! That's, that's as easy as it was. I could just be doing all sorts of crazy stuff, but then, boop! I'm smart. Whoa. That was quick. Bang. Did you get a degree? Uh, boop. Oh, yeah. What are you, a doctor? Thank you very much. Double doctor. World's foremost authority on being a double doctor. <laughs> so, what looks good on you? It's, it's what you're trying to to embody and I'm not trying to embody being smart but I'm I gotta say that it's more interesting to have these on so whatever you are going to wear whatever looks good on you should be enhancing how interesting you are because you're interesting so what looks good on you is going to be enhancing why you're interesting and for me I'll tell you what I'm still interesting but a little bit more maybe I got maybe I'm a golfer maybe 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 I'm a teddy bear Maybe I'm Ben Franklin. You never know. Maybe I'm John Lennon. Maybe I'm Harry Potter. Maybe I just like round glasses. Either way. Either way. This enhances me being interesting. And that's fashion. And then you combine it with this shirt that just doesn't go. But it goes because I own it. Because I say, hey, I like being comfortable. Hey, I like fashionable caps with a somewhat you know somewhat brim not a full brim I don't want a baseball cap I want a bit of a brim so if if it's really necessary I can do that but when it's not and then I do like to see so like right now um somewhat blind right now boom so when it comes to what looks good on you, it's it's going to make you more interesting. It's going to be something that doesn't make you interesting because, you know, it's got sex appeal. It might not. It might, it might have the exact opposite. But, you know, as a librarian, 
I must say, with these frames here, I'm a more interesting librarian than if I just chose a less pop in color. And if I didn't choose green frames here, what looks good on you? It's not about being sexy. And this is the whole thing. It's about being interesting because if you're not interesting, then what are you? <laughs> you uninteresting? You boring? No, you're not. You're interesting. There's a lot to learn about whatever you're doing. So do it. Do it big. Own it. If somebody makes fun of it, well, chances are they're not interesting enough to be made fun of. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's all you got to say. If anybody ever makes fun of you for being interesting, all you got to say is, man, I'd hate to, like, say anything other than you're not interesting enough to be made fun of. So buzz off. And that's what it's all about. Be interesting and be interesting and be bold because if anybody wants to judge you for that, they better be saying, hey, I'm, I'm judging this guy with some huge praise for, you know, being bold and being interesting because being interesting is the best thing you can be. Oh, yeah.